In this demo, we'll be taking a look at setting up the user portal. We'll also see how SAML single sign-on performs when logging in and creating a user automatically. First, let's take a look at setting up our portal. You can customize your portal by creating a name, uploading a logo, and setting a color. Next, we'll create an access role that will determine the items users can and cannot access. You can set view, edit, and hide on each data property. In this example, I'm hiding servers from displaying in the portal. And on the fields, I'm allowing users to see all fields. However, I'm hiding the field for date purchased and the field for warranty expires. Next, I'm going to be setting the allow portal access setting on this role and clicking save. Now in this page, we have no users currently set up. This is because I'll be letting my identity provider, in this case Salesforce, handle both the creation of users and assigning those users to the portal role we just set up. This means that I don't have to worry about managing users at all. Everything is provisioned automatically via SAML single sign-on. When users log in, their information is checked against the identity provider. In this case, any user who is in the role of marketing will be automatically placed in the portal user role we created earlier. Finally, when a user logs into the platform, the login page will recognize the domain and allow the user to sign in. Their account will automatically create and they'll be placed into our user portal. Once in, the user will see all available items such as assets, accessories, and software. If they click on an item, the user can view details of the item, see any current reservations held on the item, and then submit their own reservation. Now back in the admin view, we can see on our calendar a new reservation has been submitted. And on our reservations page, we can see the user details. And now we're ready for this user to check out this item.